Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Windows 10, according to Microsoft, will be reaching its end of support on the 14th of October this year, 2025. And in regards to this, ESET, who obviously is a German-based security firm, has kind of raised a warning over this issue, saying that the vast majority of uh, desktop PCs are still on the outgoing Windows 10 operating system, which means when that end of support date arrives, that will leave the OS vulnerable. And just like Microsoft, they are also recommending moving to Windows 11. Now, that's all according to this post by ESET, which I'll leave in the description. Regarding a security fiasco, 32 million computers in Germany are still running Windows 10. So that's what this article is all about. Go check it out in the description if you'd like some more info. Now, ESET has said to avoid a security fiasco for 2025, it strongly advises all users not to wait until October but to switch to Windows 11 immediately or choose an alternative operating system if your device cannot be updated to the latest Windows operating system. Now, I have posted on this and I'll leave a playlist regarding the end of Windows 10, which we've been talking about and featuring on the channel. I'll leave that in the end screen. And also the previous video I posted on what you can do if you cannot upgrade to Windows 10. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. So the reason they say that um, they are strongly advising all users not to wait is because you will expose yourself, what they are saying, to considerable security risks and make yourself vulnerable to dangerous cyber attacks and data loss. Now, obviously, um, that's going to cause a lot of debate in certain circles. And the reason they are saying that, if we head back to the said article and we look at this section, they say the situation is more dangerous than at the end of support for Windows 7 in early 2020. They mentioned that even before the official date, only around 20% of users relied on Windows 7 at the end of 2019. They mentioned that the new Windows 10 was already in use by over 70%. Now, I did post a video yesterday, I think, on the latest stat counter survey results for the Windows version, um, Windows desktop version market share. And that was sitting on just under 63%. So give or take, they are right with their stats there. And they mentioned that the current situation is dangerous to the fire. Now, this is obviously a translated article because this was originally in German. So I think they're just trying to make you're aware that this is a serious situation, according to ESET, and they say cyber criminals know these numbers very well and are just waiting for the day of the end of support. Now, that's according to ESET. And basically what I'm going to do at the end of this video now is ask you a question. Do you think that ESET is being legit? Or do you think that Microsoft and ESET are scratching each other's backs? And they've both got something to gain out of the end of support of Windows 10. Obviously, I don't recommend running an out-of-date system. Um, obviously, it, to some degree or the other, although there are um, temporary workarounds, I've posted a whole video on that. Go check that playlist out for the end of Windows 10. It's not recommended that you do run an unsupported OS for various reasons, mainly because of the lack of support regarding security updates. But nonetheless, let me know what you think down in the comments that ESET has now obviously expressed concern over the end of support since they say the vast majority of desktop PC owners are still on the outgoing OS which will leave them vulnerable and they need you to make a plan. They say now, sooner than later, so to speak. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.